Hey chickies, so okay, today we are doing a package inspired mini. So basically when Keister Black sends me polish, they send it in a little box and that in the inside of that box is this really cool splashed kind of water marble kind of design and I thought, well, you know, it's just there. So let's just go ahead and try and see if we can recreate it. So that's what I'm doing. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. And yes, for those of you who think I'm a witch, I am. <laughs> okay, so I'm starting off with a base on all of my nails of Kista Black's Blossom. Now, it just so happens that this polish actually perfectly matches the base color for the design on the inside of their packaging. So, you know, of course I'm going to use that. And isn't it the most beautiful peachy nude polish you ever did see. Now I know I just touted about the China Glaze one from the Seasons Greetings collection. This one's just as good if not better. But I mean I, I think they're quite equal really. Not wanting to play favourites or anything but two thin coats and you're completely opaque and it's just creamily delicious. And no when I say stuff like that I don't mean for people to want to eat it. It's just Gives you a delicious squishy feeling inside. I guess that's what I'd say. <laughs> now it just so happens I have another Keys to Black polish that also perfectly matches the design and that's called Narcissist. It was one of, I think from last year, one of their collaboration shades with Trophy Wife Nail Art. Don't forget all the details about everything I use will be in the description box down below. Now also because I appear to be a little bit of a liquid latex when you're water marbling convert, I'm going to be using some Simply Peel by Bliss Kiss to protect the skin around my nails whilst I'm doing this most messy water marble. <laughs> now as per usual with most water marbles, I'm starting, or with all of my water marbles actually, I'm starting off with some water that I had got from my tap and I just put it into a container. Uh, and then I just pour it out when I want it basically it's just so it's just tap water and it's at, it's at room temperature so to get this design because obviously it's not one of those very fancy sort of um, very controlled kind of water marble designs it's a kind of haphazard sort of splotches here there and everywhere so I thought well in order to create that design I'm going to have to put some splotches of polish all over the surface of this water and see how I go so that's basically what I did so it's really like one of those no pressure water marbles because it really doesn't matter too much about what you're doing really because it, you just want splotches basically. Now as you can see I played around quite a bit with this <laughs> like I mean a lot uh, the tool that I'm using in case anybody's wondering is uh, a water marbler tool from what's up nails the link will be in the description box down below if anybody wants to go and check them out uh, and at one point I just I ended up dipping that into the some of the darker bits and then putting those darker bits into other bits because I ended up with to be honest, this particular one, the first one, I ended up with way too much polish on my nail. But again, as per usual, I really loved how it turned out. So it wasn't a big deal at all. See? I love that big splotch bit. Anyway, I really liked it. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of thumbs down as who don't like it, but I really, really liked it. Now I do do a teensy bit of clean up just because I can't help myself um, around the outside before I take the liquid latex off. Just, I, I don't know why, I'm pretty much 100% sure it's not really necessary but I don't know, I, that's what I tend to do. Let's try that again shall we? We're going to move on to the next nail and we're going to basically repeat the same process. Only I'm going to do even more playing around with the polish on the surface of the water because I just can't help myself, obviously. Uh, yeah, you can just watch. It's pretty self-explanatory. Like, I just pretty much went hell for leather. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I really couldn't. I was really, really trying to be a little bit more controlled with this one. 
and I think yes I do think this one turned out better than the first one not saying that I didn't like the first one because I already said that I did and I don't want to be made out to be a liar obviously but I did like this one better so you let me know what you think but yeah I think I I did a better job of it of trying to match like I obviously wasn't trying to match perfectly the packaging but I was trying to at least give it you know like if you saw them the two of them together you could say well yeah that looks pretty much like that not a hundred percent but near enough is good enough <laughs> that was good enough for me Now, of course, once everything is completely dry, you want to go ahead and seal it all in with your favourite top coat. Of course, I'm using Sesheet as per usual. And that's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. I hope you agree with me that I think I did a pretty good job of matching somewhat somewhat matching the packaging from Keys to Black. Anyway, I really enjoyed doing it. It was fun, no pressure. I didn't feel like, you know, it had to be perfect or anything like that. So, and that's always good. It always makes it so much more fun when you don't feel like you have to be perfect. So, yay for that. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. And don't forget to go and watch my previous video because I'm sure it was lots of fun. And again and I'm going to repeat myself again please subscribe it's free anyway I'm going now bye